Let's take a moment to talk about some transport options that are available in Studio One. And I'm hesitant to use the word uh, hidden feature, but I want to show you one key command that it kind of is a hidden feature. Unless you know exactly what it does, you might not be aware of this. So let's check it out. So if we go to our transport menu and we go to options, we have the return to start on stop option. Basically, I'm sure that a lot of people already know what this does, but for example, if I start at bar two and I push play with my space bar and I stop, it brings me back to bar two. Now, if you disable this option, and we can also do this directly down here from within the GUI, this little play icon, if we right click, we also have the option here to disable that. So now if we disable this, when we play from bar two, and I was to stop over, for example, here, it's gonna behave as if though it was a reel-to-reel -reel or a tape machine in that as we start and stop, it will just continue to move down, but it doesn't return to where it was. So what happens if you like to work this way, but you need to go back to that position and you need a quick way to be able to do that? Okay, so I'm gonna show you a shortcut that just happens to have that particular type of behavior. So I'm going to push play, we're at bar two, we have return to start, unstop, disabled, and let's stop here with the space bar. So now we stopped exactly before bar five. Now I could mouse click or use key commands to get back to bar two, but also I could use a key command that's already there, which brings my cursor back to the previous start position. So what this means again is that I don't have to have return to start, unstop enabled, and I can play from any point, like for example, let's play from bar five, and I'm gonna stop right over here, and I wanna go back to bar five. Okay, so what is that key command, or what is that menu item? I'm gonna go into keyboard shortcuts, and because that shortcut was the last thing that we used, we will find it highlighted here. So basically, this is uh, stop. So it's pretty simple. And the other thing to point out is that in Studio One, you can have multiple different key commands associated with one particular menu item. So let's say, for example, that you say, oh, well, that's great, but I work from a laptop or I have a small keyboard and I don't have a number pad, so I can't access that. Well, if that's the case, then what you can do is you can click one of these areas over here. They will be blank if you don't have it highlighted. And in this case, I mapped out control zero as well. And the reason I mapped out control zero is because before the pandemic happened, I was doing a lot of clinics and I would work with my laptop and I didn't always have my keyboard or I didn't have time to set it up. So if that's the case, we can do the exact same thing. We're going to go like this and we'll stop. And now, now I'm going to use control zero and it's bringing me back. So the actual key command is just called stop, but for whatever reason, in is for as long as I can remember, if I had this transport option, return to start on stop disabled, it allowed me to move back to my previous record position or rather my previous start position. So I figured that some people might find that useful if you prefer to work with return on stop disabled, but you still would like to be able to have a really quick way to hop back to your previous start position so you didn't have to shift back through or anything like that. Anyways, that's all the time I got available for today. Hope that you enjoyed this and we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.